How's it going, water people? Thanks for tuning in for part two of day one of the Stoked On Fishing Brazil trip with acute angling. Let's get right to it. Just stick right here under us. Stick under us. Nice, Jimmy. Oh, oh quick release. Quick release. Rubbing a stick. <laughs> you don't have to work too hard, right? See that guy? Easy that way. Keep coming. Oh, look at that hole back in there. Another one. Nice. Right on that stick, I think they go over the tennis pool. Or I just got to have to bolt. Oh! 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 Yay. Yeah! Nice fish, Jimmy! Not bad fish, five <sighs> He just pulled two out back to back. Oh, there's mine. Yeah. Yeah, we found the honey. Oh, to the right, two over here on this bank to the right. Oh, and there's another one. Yeah, we found the school. Thank you. Let's get it while it's hot. Tell us where we find a school of them. There'll be a bunch. Some butterflies. We got a little butterfly this time. Is that the first butterfly? I think that's the first butterfly, huh? Beautiful. Uh-huh. We got to hold up one of those butterflies before it ends. Get a good size one. Well, before it ends, duh. Yeah. Be no matter what size. Uh, yeah, okay. Just to show the Yeah. Markings. Yeah because I don't know what, how much battery we got. I'm acting like it's ending any moment. I don't know if it will or won't though. Oh, they, we don't keep any of these to eat. Oh, we do? Later in the day, we'll, ki we'll keep dinner. So uh, tomorrow I'm gonna try to do an evening stream. Tomorrow I'll start the stream after we eat lunch. Um, Today I started the stream first thing. Tomorrow will be after we eat lunch, and then the next day will be even later in the day. Because I think we fish until seven. Five. Till five? five. Till five. Sorry. I thought they said six. Thought they said six to seven last night. And then I'll do a stream on the boat one day, on the mothership one day. Maybe I'll start it in the last hour or so on this boat and then we'll end up on the big boat. And I can show you guys what the big boat looks like. Oh, there it is. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Catch up with it. Yeah. Take him around the back. Oh, it came off of you. Yes, good release. We're doing good. First time for Jeremy. I feel so much more comfortable with the bait caster.
BB. Sorry, that was muted. Starlink is powering the stream. I freaking traveled all the way from California, went on multiple planes with my Starlink. That's it right there by Jimmy. Jimmy got another fish, another peacock. Beautiful. Yeah. Still fishing this left bank, you're at Jimmy? All right, as you heard water people, this is a seven day fishing trip. I live broadcasted it six out of those seven days. So definitely be prepared for some content to come at you, you guys. Big shout out to Soaked on Fishing really quick. Rio Niagara, Brazil is the trip that I'm on for these edits. Definitely hit up Andrew over at Stoked on Fishing if you wanna do a trip like this. It is an all-inclusive trip. You pay for the trip, your travel, and everything is included. Definitely hit him up. It was a trip of a lifetime. I'll definitely be there this year. So see you there if you make it. Let's get back to the fishing. Sorry about that. That was all me because I had a little backlash. Oh, oh yeah, I just got it. Oh, oh there it is. There, oh, he spit it. Uh, Papa Pit, there were some clips clipped if you want to share them. Since you have permission to share links, it's a little hard to multitask right now. And I, oh, oh, yeah, there's a fish, a little guy, but it's a fish. You, <laughs> my big fisherman here, baby. If you don't know, this is the first time I've ever done an epic trip like this straight to the Amazon rainforest in the middle of Brazil. I learned a lot on this trip and I hope to share all that with you as these edits go on. Yeah, Jimmy, found one. Oh, my guy told me to catch. Butterfly. Butterfly, let's see it in chat. Baby. Just, that's okay. Just see the species. A little different from the peacock, huh? Uh-huh. How could you tell? Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Thank you. I'm trying my whopper plopper. He knew I wanted to try it. I took it out. He read my mind. Okay, there you go. He said, okay, we'll try this kook bait for this guy. Get some top water action going, huh? Look at that whopper plopper. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Somebody ought to take that down. I think so. I've never caught a fish on a whopper plopper. I'm gonna catch one on this trip. Yep. What do you think, water people? Leave in the comments below if I'll catch on this choppa. And hit subscribe while you're down there. Appreciate it, everyone. So I just casted right into the tree. Structure, trees, dead driftwood, so many things to get caught on out in the wild. These guides can get these hooks out, these jigs out of anything, normally right from where we're casting to. 
You hand the pole right over, they do their magic, they hand it right back to you. It is unbelievable. A lot of techniques that we'll be seeing them use, and I even start doing it myself towards the end of the trip, and it's wild. Braid is just crazy good when it comes to cast fishing, everyone. If you're not using braid yet for cast fishing, you are missing out. Anyways, let's get back. That's how he's earning his tips. You know what? He's got me off. <laughs> oh, wait till you see him when he, when he, when he, when he he's got one for me already. Where he pulls it back and does a little ping, ping, ping. It falls out of the see. During this fast forwarded bit, we do some casting and cranking, looking for some more fish. Didn't find any catches. We did a move, found a nice shaded spot to take a break, had our lunch. When it comes to lunch, it is amazing sandwiches, stuff from the buffet for breakfast, few different things that you do a packed lunch with, fresh fruit of all kinds of stuff. Beer, drinks, water, breads, cookies, and more. It's hot, chat is hot, hot in the Amazon. When you're on the water, you have no tree cover. So it's hot. Probably in the forest, it still might be hot and humid, but at least you have shade. Out here, I'm having to drink a lot of water. When you're fishing the Amazon River on these guided fishing tours, definitely make sure you bring gloves, full cover. I oh, wish I brought my gator, but it's back at the mothership. But definitely bring it all and drink a lot of water because you're just oh, you're just, just sweating out everything. Here. Jimmy's dealing with a tangle up right oh, now, but we'll be back at it. Mess, we'll be back at it. All right, water people, we're moving to another spot. See you guys there. The way this trip works is you're on a mothership. With, there's the get kitchen, the dining room, a top deck that everyone hangs out with, and then about a dozen of these aluminum fishing boats. Two people, one guide, all get on a boat, and we start fishing. The mothership, while we're fishing all day, works its way up the river, and we start fishing up the river. Uh, we make bigger moves with the outboard all the way up, and then we stop and use the trolling motor to cast and crank every so often. It's a really fun time. It's seriously probably the most epic trip I could ever imagine being on when it comes to freshwater fishing. Definitely bucket list trip checked off. Can't wait to do it again. What is that? Current? Dolphin? Or just, just flow? So I just noticed Water. surface action over on the Movement. distance. As a offshore Water. fisherman, you're always watching the surface. What we call boils is normally oh, yeah. tuna so or pelagic species just destroying <laughs> what they eat on the surface of the water. And I saw some action over there, so I looked over and the guide reassured me that it was just current. Paka, baby, paka. Okay, there's the beach. Fish on here in the Amazon. Woo, he spit the hook. Easy release. Send it back through there, buddy. I'm not going to steal your little honey. You might have a little honey hole working. Once you get one, you might get three or four right in a row. Madness over there. Come on, show me. Oh, big jump on the other side of the sandbar. Uh, oh, another big jump. Oh, oh, another big jump. Yep. 
Send it over there. Let's go. <laughs> Start that motor. <laughs> Those were big jumps. But the big peacock cats don't jump. No. They splash. They well, those were splashes. I didn't see any body. Oh. I just saw splash. Big splashes. I like watching the water. Oh. Out of five. Huh? Yeah? Well, how do you catch those? Live bait? No. Will they eat a lure? Oh, yeah. I need to catch one of those. Oh! Jesus Christ, I got some dolphin. Huh? Is that the dolphin? Yeah. Yeah, he's right there. You see him now? Same feet to the left of my cast. There's a pink dolphin. Stick bait. Stick bait time. Okay. Trying to catch this. This there. is a gu the guide's lure here. Ooh, this will be exciting. He's in here by himself. Arapaima? What? I would love to catch me one of these. And I think that is what I saw earlier when I saw that surface action. They must have missed it. I saw it. We'd sit here and cast on these guys for a bit. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's one. That's one. This is the spot. Oh. Oh. Okay, deep, deep. You see him out there? Yeah, let it go deep. Okay, for those, I want to, I have... I have a bait I want to try for next time we see those. You never know, right? That's right. A primer? Now on this one, I want. Well, next time we see arrow primer, I'm gonna. We gotta stop and try that one. But now both of the bait casters have clips on them. Oh. Okay. We got a fish. Sean, water people. Been a little dry for me for a bit, so that's nice to see. Oh, what is that? Yeah. Oh, it's got teeth. Yeah. Oh. Good eating or no? No. Oh, look at the scales. Oh, that must be a pain to clean. If you were hungry, if you were hungry enough. Oh, yeah. Let me see close up. Close up. Oh, yeah. Oh, chomper. See that sweat chat? That's the Amazon for you. Try it out. See a fish? <laughs> You're scaring all the fish away, quiet. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. No one else? Nice. That's the spot. I didn't know that stick was in there. I could have raised this chair and have the camera higher too when you're done. There's one more in there, I think. Is there another stick? Yeah. Yeah. I'm already up there. I get it for you. No, I'll get it. Yeah, as well. Yeah. 
as well, may as well. take a break from standing for a while huh now my camera's in a nice high position too Jim and Jerry here coming at you from uh, Brazil Amazon River and we're uh, gonna flick it oh show the magic let me hand it to him give me life Huh? Give me line. line. You'll get it with the line. Cool. Oh, I already got it. That's why, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's still there. Uh, it went back on again. Check out this magic, guys. Oh. You're a magic man. I'm a magic man. Magic man. Coming on in from Babylon. Magic man. All right, here, I got a fish everywhere, right here. Any, which side, which way? Both ways? Yeah, this or this way. Yeah, just side cast. Oh, just the side, any side cast. Yeah, right so you don't accidentally hook me. Okay, I already got one. Oh, fish on you for too? Jimmy. Nope, I'm hyped for you, man. I'm just hyped for you. Oh, look at how green that one is. Yes, yeah, a baby, baby. Baby. That's beautiful. Baby peacock or butterfly? Peacock? Put him in the tree where he belongs. Yep. Excuse. Excuse. Oh, oh, oh. Did you get it there, buddy? Yeah, in the middle, in the middle. That's what the captain told you, didn't he say? Yeah. Middle? Yes, sir, he did. Oh, yeah. Happy <laughs> time. There's another one. Maybe. Babies. <laughs> that is a baby too. But she counts. Time to spot hop. That mommy must be there. She's 15, 10 pound, 12 pound mama. <laughs> right here. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? I did. <laughs> Go ahead, I won't steal your path. Do it again, right there. Could have been a hog man, but I didn't do that to you. Come on now, this time you'll get it. You have that follower coming on. <laughs> Stomparilla over here. Stompzilla. Ah, that was fun as hell. Oh, my heart beat like I'm just wham. Come on, right there. Right there is where I was. <sighs> this is so much fun. <laughs> Come on, where's the big one? She's out here too. He's out here with all those babies sitting right here. Oh, oh, oh. Come 
Okay. Yeah. I'll just pass this one, bring it right over to you. Up there. Oh. Shallow, shallow. One more. Get the fish. Oh, right on the land. There's another one coming out there. I'm sure. Oh, missed me. Did you see it? Ah, <laughs> right here. Right here. Oh, get off. This is a fishy area. I did that one. That one's just missed it. Lots of current. Lots of movement. The, there was. It was ripping over here for a while. Oh, that was earlier. This could be right there. Boy, you guys got it. That was. Great to see. Oh, uh oh, look out. Look out back that way, too. Oh, I got one here, but there's one over there, too. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, it's a butterfly. I didn't even see the stripes. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> Jimmy's on. Right to the boat. Yeah. Oh, pretty. It's good looking fish. Got the one under that log. Under the log, baby. He was. He, <coughs> the log. he came knocking on the log, and he, that fish came answering. Yeah. He, see the swirl? Yeah. Behind that, behind that log. Oh, there's a nicer fish too. Oh, big pucker. Here. There you go. Yeah! Nice, Jimmy! Uh. <laughs> on, on the POV? Stoked on fishing, baby! It's over this shoulder. Stoked on fishing, baby! He heard me twice, so. <laughs> All right, water people. Thanks for tuning in on this part two. That's going to be the end of this one. Jimmy's about to hook up into a big old fish, so we'll start off part three with that big old fish. But I want to shout out Stoked On Fishing and thank them once again. Also, Acute Angling for putting on such an amazing trip. This is just day one, part two. There's still part three and many more fish to be caught on day one. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Definitely like and comment. I would love to respond to your comment. Let me know how you like these edits and I will be sure to keep them coming. Thanks everyone and I can't wait to see you all on the next one. And remember, I'm live three days a week on twitch.tv and YouTube live, A Waterman's Life, all one word. See you on the next live broadcast or edit everyone. Thank you so much.